Hello everyone and welcome to He Makes Me Play. I am Marius and I'm blind. I can't see and so I make other people play video games. And uh -huh. I'm here today with my friend Vincent who is Hi. already interrupting my intro. Yeah. How are you doing Vincent? Good. It's a very special day today mm -hmm. because we're back with an Ian McLarty game. Yes, because we haven't had one of those in a while. Yes, but it's there's like an occasion for this because we've seen during Summer Games Festival one of Ian McLarty's games Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, being announced, or like the release was announced, I guess. Uh, Mars First Logistics, right? It's yeah. coming out on uh, June 22nd mm -hmm. by Shape Shop. And we thought, what a great opportunity. We've enjoyed McLarty's games in the past. Why yeah. not look at another one? And today we're looking at Forests Are For Trees, right? Yes. A very intriguing title. Yeah, and I should say this game is already very different from Mars <laughs> First Logistics. Yeah, I think in Mars First Logistics you have to deliver pizza on Mars with yeah. a rover or something. And, and you build it, it's sort of like Lego. Yeah, but building, um, I think. it's cool, but this is not what this is. No, so. no, 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 not at all. <laughs> yeah, so what are we looking at here? This I noticed when we started this game, uh -huh. uh, it has sound, which is a first for <laughs> Ian McLarty yes. games. Yeah. We played a road that may lead nowhere and we added our own sound as the game instructed us to. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one already comes with... Sounds that sound like sort of forest sounds, right? Yeah, yeah and a waterfall. Yeah, and some ru running Possibly. water. Yeah. And also distant tra traffic, which is a very realistic depiction of nature nowadays. Ah, yeah, I was wondering what that is. I guess it's I supposed I to be yeah. traffic. That's what it sounds or like to me. maybe somewhere there's a monster. <laughs> and you think like so? groaning or... Maybe. Maybe. That would be very exciting. So what are we looking at? That's what you're here for, Vincent, <sighs> to describe to me. Remember? Remember your place, Vincent? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get it, but also, man, Mr. McLarty, can, can you just design, <laughs> like, easier games to describe? <laughs> so, I mean, okay. that's the hilarious yeah, joke yeah, yeah, we're yeah. playing with uh -huh. these. I make Vincent play th specifically these games because they're basically impossible for this format. Yeah. At least, you know, with Catacombs of Solaris, that was mm -hmm. probably the also, most pronounced. We, we haven't moved yet, and that is... A choice. Oh, can you move? I assume so, yes. But <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen then to all that we already see. All so right. we're yeah. looking at, as you would expect, a forest. Um, in front of okay. us are like a, a ginormous amount of roots. Roots. Cr Crisscrossing over each other. Um, okay. Almost um, almost creating like a checkered surface. Yeah. Um, also, I should say, none of these plants have... A in any way realistic color. Um, yeah, is it like a photorealistic forest or? No. It's not what I was expecting. Not at all. It's like, what is it, just colors and shapes or like very stylized? Uh, very stylized, yeah, but also um, shown through colors and spa uh, space. For example, right in front of us is uh, one of the bigger trees and that um, we can't even see the leaves above us. Okay. It's just the trunk, but the trunk is um, starting in like a greenish or a, a yellowish green at the bottom uh -huh. and then turning into straight yellow at the top um, and in front of that is a smaller tree that is uh, like blue purplish maybe all right um, and not like real trees no um, hmm. and so it, it's pretty easy to see the trunks of these trees yeah um, but as soon as we get to the, the canopy, I think it's called. Oh the, yeah, the that's leaves, right. Mm. Um, it just turns into noise, basically. Um, there is ah, okay. so much going on, so many different colors from, um, like the the, how do you call it, the the primary colors, mm -hmm. um, to to neon colors, to um, even like they are even overlapping. So um, there's a tree that is uh, blue, uh, that is greenish or turquoise, yeah. um, or what teal, teal, is teal is exactly. Um, for some reason, I always think turquoise is. English. I know turquoise. I think is also yeah, a thing, uh, right, but right, right, teal right. is usually what you read, and it mm -hmm. always confused me as well. Yeah. So it, there's a teal color. Nice tree. color, though. Yes, and it works perfectly well um, for this forest because it seems like vaguely cyberpunky. Yeah, it, it, is it like neon mm -hmm. colors and stuff? Okay. Yeah. Does it look nice? Would you say it's beautiful, Vincent? It's. I think if it was less, <laughs> then it would be nice. Okay. But it's um, a little overwhelming. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it just turns into noise. 
Do you think that this is a procedurally generated forest? Yes. It's not like Probably. he doesn't have a picture saved for each of these trees, right? No. It sounds like he, he had fun just making a procedural tree generator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, now I'm just comparing the tree appearances, and I think some of them are more or less identical. So that okay. would work for procedurally generated, right? Hmm. Um, it, yeah. I am. So, can you interact with this game? Let's find out. Let's get interesting here. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, we can. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. God, this is like imagine, like they just they did this and then they added mirrors to everything. This is ah, not okay. Now we're talking. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> I think what happens is that the trees very close to us turn translucent. So they, they turn translucent, but not completely, so they still break the light, which oh, okay. um, has the effect that you can see the trees if you stand still, and it still works if you move, but if you move, they move at different speeds, even though they are at the same distance to you. It's weird. You sound confused. When I am confused. Uh, that happens when you hit, what, W for walking forward? Yeah, the, the, it's WASD. Okay. Walking. But it doesn't sound like you can actually like you you don't have a character to walk around with in this game, right? No, it's first person. Yeah, but I mean, like, okay, do you feel that the W makes you move forward? Yes. Oh, it does. Okay. Yes. So I, I'm. I have no fucking idea what's going on here. Right? Yeah, I, I've <laughs> just I checked my theory, and it's not all <laughs> uh, trees are actually translucent because right now we are standing in front of a tree. That okay. is. <sighs> it is still translucent, I just noticed. But it's just... What's the background? So translucent the means trees. You, you can look through it. What's behind it's it? It's all trees, Mario. It's just more trees. It's just more trees. Towards infinity, it's just it trees. It is just more trees, Mario. All right. Forever and ever. This is for you, r slash trees. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, when we look through a tree, we actually... Yeah. Oh, my God, we can... Can you, like, do you have mouse look? Is it actual, like, yeah. you run around like it's oblivion or something? Yes, stop asking questions. Guys. This is hard. <laughs> right. Hard enough. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of sorry. I'm making you do this. No, this is fun. Um, All right. It, I mean, it, it's a great visual. It's just hard to describe. So, um, when I looked through the tree, right? Yeah. I thought it was translucent. And um, on behind the trees... Uh, I thought what happened was that the trees behind it um, were just shown without the canopy, canopy. Oh, okay. Right, so they were much uh, clearer visually. Yeah, and, uh, like a dumbed-down version of a tree. Yeah, and also the uh, the roof, uh, the root floor of the entire uh, area, right? The, the, yeah. The entire area was just sprawling over and over and over with like dozens of roads that were also like can like you see the ground though or is it no. not it's just trees it's just and trees you can and see roots. way down to their roots yeah and uh, you can even see multiple layers of roots yeah which is that's cool yeah here's the wild thing though yeah I went through the fucking tree now okay there's no I've, I'm not super surprised that there's no collision detection in this game no no, that's no that's what that's you mean they are portals Marius oh okay. we are in a different kind of Oh, that's well, cool. now that's <laughs> yeah. still mostly trees, but um, now they are sort of singular uh, standing trees, separated from others. There's no, there's no leaves, I think. I think it's like a D and D. Oh spell God, for I, that. I'm not looking back there. Can okay. you go back into the other in the I previous world? I assume so. Yeah. Also, okay. um, I, I think it's similar to, maybe it is similar to Catacombs of Solaris. I don't know, man. Because Can like you pick your favorite tree, Vincent, and then go into its world? Like, if you go into the teal tree, does everything then turn teal or whatever? This is... Um, mm, not really, sort of. But How do you really. know you're walking into a tree portal? Um, is there some visual effect that yeah, tells you so? Mm, no, there's no visual effect, but just the world changes. So you're, it's like walking into a painting and then you... Okay. I was in the painting and I turned around and suddenly everything I saw was this kind of world all of a sudden. Okay. Right? Like with singular trees and all that. But then it's obvious. With 
similar to Catacombs of Solaris, I didn't look for a moment, and then I turned around, and behind me was the, tr the first forest again. Oh. <gasps> and now Is it I've the same where it, like, stops, or, like, it only happens when you keep moving? I don't know. I haven't experimented enough yet. Okay. Um, okay, so th there are... This is so weird. So there are, right in front of me, right now, are translucent trees, and then a normal tree, or a normal, actually. There's not really a normal <laughs> tree. There's still normal in this. There's a green, reddish tree. Uh -huh. um, let's see what happens if I walk through the translucent tree. Okay. Okay, nothing really changes. But, okay, the, the, the green tree turns also translucent. And the floor changes. All the, the roots... Yeah. Less pronounced, and okay. I think it is actually similar to Catacombs of Solaris. I In just what don't way? know how. Okay. Yet. Yeah, I mean, I see your point. There's some similarity in feel and overall impression yeah. and weirdness. I, I'm just gonna walk for a while and see what happens. Okay, the game is trying to put translucent trees in front of me, but I'm not gonna let it. And now we have arrived at a Okay, per perfect. I, d I created the perfect game for us. Um, <laughs> I can describe it very easily. We are looking at nothing, and the nothing begins at the ye uh, begins yellow at the top. But then it's sort of not nothing, right? And then it turns into blue. But it's like colors. It's Just the entire screen is that color? It is a perfect color grading, so to speak. And like nothing, a gradient? Yeah, a gradient, okay. exactly. And there's nothing on it, and it's fine, and we can end the episode here. Thank you very much for <laughs> this watching. This is harmony. <laughs> this, this is... Um, yes, we, we find an, uh, found an exit. Okay, terror. how did you reach this heavenly place? Um, so I walked for a while, and uh, I walked towards a specific bluish tree, or uh, yeah. a tree of this color, yellow to, gray, uh, to blue gray. Um, and I dodged all the translucent trees that the <laughs> game tried to put in front Good of job. me. Good job. That seems to be the challenge here. Uh, uh, yes, because yeah. they just pop up out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> and then I moved around it a little and found, um, right, because it's a three-dimensional, does it make sense, a three-dimensional portal? So when you walk around the tree, um, you see through the tree, so what you see also like changes. Okay. Um, right. I, and I just it's, found it's like a lens, the tree. Exactly. Yeah. And I just found the moment. So when I looked into it, there were already less trees there, like the first time we went to a, a tree. Yeah. And I found the place where there were no trees, and now I'm happy, Marsh. I'm happy. I'm very happy. There's nothing to describe. Um, but I'm not Vincent, I will not allow you to say happy. <laughs> this is how I understand my role in this. <sighs> I need to push you towards growth. And we need to explore this forest more. Okay. Forests are for trees, Vincent, not for color gradients. Let's it's not turn the around name. then. There's the forest again. <laughs> Hello. Well, I mean, isn't it kind of uh, nice, though, too? Uh, yeah. Also, now I lost my color gradient. It's gone. <laughs> it's, uh, Your I comfort gradient. I turned around Your away beautiful, from the comforting blanket of color. Yeah. Well, I do notice how like the sound doesn't change at all. It's just this loop all the time. Yeah. I mm, I wonder. I'm just gonna walk forward for a while. Sure. See what happens. Do you with, when you hit A and D? Do you strafe like it's a cool yeah. shooter game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Okay. I love how he did put that in, but not like that you turn on those keys. No, yeah. uh, but you can turn with a mouse, so... Yeah, sure, but do you know what I mean? It's like the strafing on A and D came later in the evolution of shooters and it was much more effective in-game. Mm. I still remember loading up games and A and D made you turn. Uh-huh, like and Doom? It, yeah, I think so. It was an option in Doom to um, enable strafing, if it was possible at all. It's been a long while I've since I played that. a color gradient again. I think okay. what happens if just if you re walk forward, you just leave the forest. Ah, that's just sort of the edge of the forest, maybe? The yeah. color gradient? Uh-huh. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. I mean, there has to be... Uh, I mean, there doesn't have to be an edge. Ah. It could go on forever. Oh, oh. Hmm. But this, is, this forest is bounded. You would think so. But, you know, I, I figured 
I turn around like 180 degrees, yeah. look at the forest behind us, and then just walk backwards. Guess what happens? What Trees happens? Apart, uh, appeared out of nowhere. In front of you? No, behind us. And then they move past us. Yeah, right, so it, that's what I meant. I see. Mm -hmm. that, then it's not an edge at all. Not Th really. I mean, depending on where you look. This may be, again, like we've had this discussion before, I'm sure, but this game may not have Euclidean geometry, Vincent. <gasps> what if it's like three yeah. dimensions, but it's like it behaves differently. Mm -hmm. And there's maybe like 3.7 dimensions or whatever. Also or they're bent in weird ways and yeah. it loops in on itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're trapped here by a, an Eldritch Horror entity or an Eldritch entity. Well, it uh, doesn't seem very horrific. It's just sort of playful, I guess. Yeah. Isn't that also sort of a thing that Eldritch beings do? They um, don't really... Like, they don't try to be horrible. They, are, they just are and don't consider us to be of any importance. That's right. Yeah, I agree. Which, yeah, fits. It's horrible in its own. Self. Is this some kind of, um, would you describe this as a kind of neon cyber Feywild? Yes. All right. That's what I was thinking. And that we are trapped here more by a mm. seely spirit or uh -huh. something. A Fey spirit. Though th those I cars like are sort of irritating. <laughs> This is a more gentrified Feywild <laughs> with parking available everywhere. Um, well, you gotta, you gotta get to the court, right? You, you gotta. I guess, yeah. Yeah. So what else is going on with? <laughs> 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 with these games, you never know what you're gonna get. Um, yeah. We really just kind of like the title. This is from 2018. Mm -hmm. um, I have no idea about the context in which it was released. Um, but it fits in, in, in it fits in with what we've seen so far from Ian McLarty. Yeah. Um, honestly, I kind of feel like Moss First Logistics will be like an enormous disappointed, uh, disappointing because it might actually, from what it sounds like, have actual gameplay. <laughs> um, <laughs> like yeah. Stuff I mean, that happens. To be fair, he, he also got a team for that. One, so yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. As I said, I don't know the context. I don't know if mm -hmm. this was released by himself or in in cooperation with Shape Shop. I don't know. Too much work to look at. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think the studio is new. But who yeah, knows? Yeah, okay. Um, but I, I st always feel like... I, like, I, what I want to be clear. I'm not uh -huh. saying like, oh, where's the game? Like this. Need no, no, no. It's not that. I'm, it's just that I'm kind of hoping always with these things for some kind of twist or mm -hmm. some kind of secret to discover like the black hole well black okay hole yeah that had experience? sort of a twist yeah. spoilers if you want to know the amazing <laughs> twist go watch that video <laughs> yes but but that had right you know what i mean it had mm -hmm. something and like catacombs i feel like there you also like you can sort of figure out oh the point is to find your favorite room and then you can you can gain some mastery over that weird art installation, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and what is that here? I mean, the mastery, I think, is at least in part um, to know how to exit the forest. But you, I mean, have you but exited? You can get to your gradients. I've yeah. heard about that. You exactly. keep going on about that, Vincent. Yes. And but then like if you then turn around, you yeah. see the forest as like an, an island of trees. Ah, it's in the distance? Um, yeah, I mean, w it's not the walking is not fast moving yeah so okay. um, I guess we could get far away but really it's more like 20 meters away okay but ah. there's like wh what is around this island um, nothing it's just black? it's floating in this color gradient oh wow okay. and the color gradient changes depending on your <laughs> direction and the trees around you and all sort of things do other buttons do anything keys like I space have, jumping i have tried try? that i was okay. wondering if you could lean but you can't <laughs> what, uh, like around corners to avoid enemies or do stealth right vincent yeah, I, I think hey, that's I wishful wondering. thinking uh, apparently you can also uh, navigate the camera with i j k and l oh okay instead but of mouse yeah yeah but okay. apart from that i don't see any keys working here yeah I'm not okay. even jump and okay, instead of the WASD, you can also use the arrow keys. Arrow keys. That yeah, yeah. makes sense. Um, exciting Does do the numbers do anything? One, two, three, four, five, six? That kind mm, of stuff? Nope. Quick slots for weapons? No. no. All right. 
fast move with shift A W S D. I am disappointed in the control layout. Yeah, it's of this fine. Game. It's just you know <laughs> you're supposed to run around this, these trees. I guess. I mean, it's in the name. Forests are for trees. Yeah. But what I have not figured out yet is how to actually like make your own favorite forest. Well, it's not. I mean, like this I game didn't tell you like, hey, the point is to find your favorite tree. It's not. It's not the objective. At least not the official one. Yeah. No, that, that's fair. But um, I find it interesting that in, in Catacombs of Solaris, when you run around a little, you um, f figure out pretty quickly how the game works. Yeah. And I have not figured out how this game actually works. Yeah, but maybe that's sort of my point. Maybe there's nothing to figure out. Maybe there's no further workings. Which, honestly, it was kind of um, the case in a road that may lead nowhere. But at least that, that was sort true. of fun because the game told you to put on music and uh -huh. that was sort of the main event for me. <laughs> Choosing music with you. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then stuff just happened, but you quickly sort of saw everything in that game. Uh -huh. And this feels similar. Yeah. And Instead of just traveling on a road, you're just sort of running around the forest. Yeah, traveling through trees. I think yeah. the, I'm slowly figuring it out. I think it's mostly just different trees lead to different versions of the forest okay. and different colors and different um, yeah. yeah is there a finite number of forests I don't <laughs> think so I mean tricky question not though. obviously at least yeah okay um, I wonder if but like uh, to be fair the colors are sort of repeating but it uh -huh. might be that it's like one of is a, a lighter pink and the other is a darker pink. Yeah, but, um, it's it, not they are easy all to like tell exactly. Think about how many neon colors there are, and that's how many forests. Yeah, there are. yeah. I do wonder. This game was like three MB uh, large, right? The file. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and uh, I assume very strongly that um, these trees are procedurally generated mm -hmm. because if you had bitmaps of all these trees. You know, if it is truly such a breathtaking amount as you describe, and the gradients, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. that might be more than 3 MB. So he's mm -hmm. probably generating these. Mm -hmm. And then it, I'm just wondering now, it could be that there's infinitely many little forests that you can go to, and it, or almost infinite, mm -hmm. uh, right? Because it depends on what color tree you go in, and then it maybe shifts the shade a little. Or I wonder if they are like, you know, internally represented as actual like a data structure where each forest has like you know a coordinate in like mm -hmm. McLarty space or whatever and there are there's actual <laughs> connections right <laughs> so you have like uh, somewhere you could draw a picture of the three-dimensional forest map uh -huh. and it would have wormhole tunnels leading to each other yeah, I don't think so and but then what is that topology of that space uh -huh. is what I want <laughs> yeah. if you know what the topology <laughs> leave a comment I'm saying I know it's a, it's a good point but um at yeah, least I, don't know. I haven't figured it out if there's <laughs> no, even that's such a th thing. That's okay, Probably. Vincent. I, I will still be friends with you even if you haven't figured it out. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. this was that You've passed my test, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, so now I get to play more games with you. Thanks. Yeah, wonderful <laughs> games like this. <laughs> uh -huh. There are many more in the catalog. Well, um, I ran out of things to think about this. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? No, I think that's a fair assessment of yeah. many of the McLarty experiments. Um, this one was... Uh, I liked it. It's fine. Yeah, for absolutely. Where it is. Yeah. Interesting to look at. Probably horrible for the um, bitrate of YouTube videos. So oh, about <laughs> that. Like changing the well, that's not our concern. No. Look, you have to make sacrifices <laughs> for art. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what I think. Uh-huh. And I could also see how it's probably fun to make. Like, yeah. yeah. I like that this exists. Mm -hmm. And um, I honestly, I think the sound added a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weirdly, I agree. Um, it's a, a whole new dimension <laughs> to um, these um, little art pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, thanks for playing, Vincent. My pleasure. If we want to call it that. <laughs> uh, thanks for experiencing this digital experience with me and describing uh -huh. it. You did so very well. I got a very good picture of it. Uh, thank you, dear viewer, for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I if hope you you're have still there. <laughs> yeah, sure. But uh, this is what this is. These are like these one-off things uh -huh. we do sometimes. Uh, if you have anything to tell us, maybe something we missed or whatever, p feel free to leave comments. We're always very interested. Oh, yeah. If you just want to talk about trees, I'm down. 
Um, Absolutely. I avoided that. I did not. <laughs> I had the temptation to give random tree facts, but I thought, okay. Well, how about I leave? No, 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 no. We're out of that. here now. <laughs> Subscribe, <laughs> like, uh, follow us on Twitter at Make Sort of Score Play. Bye. Bye bye.